Hi everyone, before starting the video, this is disclaimer this information presented in this video is only for information and educational purpose only and this should, only, this should not be used for illegal or malicious activity. So today we are going to discuss about proxy chains. So we know that when we visit some website on some web server or we get connected with some server, then our request goes directly to the server and at the server our IP can be seen. It means we are visible, our identity is there. Now, in some of the situations, if we don't want or we want to hide our identity, in that case, we can use proxies. So in that case, our request or the user request first goes to, uh, to proxy. And then proxy will send a request to the server on behalf of the user. And at the server, the server can see this IP address, but not our own IP address. So it means we are hidden from the server. They can't see us. They can't identify our IP address. So this is proxy. But then what is proxy chain? So this simple if, uh, yeah, so that was one thing else that maybe in this case, if someone tries to uh, maybe trace back that from where this request is coming, then this, of course, this is possible. And now to make this trace back more difficult or more challenging, we can add more proxies there. Like we can have one proxy here. So request can go from this to this one. And then this proxy server can forward that request to this one. And maybe we can have third proxy that can also send like to uh, the other one. So in this way, by adding more and more proxies in between the source and destination, we are going to make it difficult to identify that who is the actual sender. And maybe we are making it difficult to identify uh, uh, so that someone can identify us, someone can detect it. So we are using this for hiding us. And in addition to that, in Tor, in Tor service, actually, they make it even harder by using different keys uh, to encrypt and decrypt the information from one hop to other hop. Okay, so now to, to demonstrate that how we set up this proxy chain, I have this Kali Linux machine. And in this Kali Linux machine, we can set up this proxy chain. And for this, I'm going to bring up this terminal window here. And this terminal, first of all, I'm going to update and upgrade our system. So for this, for sudo and upgrade, update, press enter, and asking for password, the password, and it will take some time to update it. And once this command is complete, we need to upgrade our system. So I'll just stop this video for a while and then once updated, I'll issue the second command that will be upgrade. Okay, now our update command is complete. We need to issue second command that is upgrade. And uh, this may take longer. So I'll again pause my video and then, then you can I mean, then I'll be back. So it may take some time to upgrade the system. Okay, guys, I'm back. So after the update and upgrade of the system, I had to reset my virtual machine. And after resetting my virtual machine, we are back here. And now I'm going to install Tor service. And most of the cases, we already have the Tor service installed, but I'm going to install it so again. So sudo app get install and Tor. Tor is a service which we'll be using that is the onion routing. Or it says that do you want to continue with this? We say yes, we are trying to install Tor and please install it. So this is installing and this has already been installed. After this installation, we have proxy chains. Proxy chains also is already there. And in this proxy chains, there is a configuration file. So we have to make some changes in that configuration file. And now to open that configuration file, the proxy chains uh, 4.conf file, I'm going to use nano editor. So for sudo, with sudo privileges, I want to edit that, com uh, that file. So sudo nano, and then this file is in edge save folder. And the name of this file is proxy chains. Yes, this is there, you can see. So proxychains4.conf, so that's the configuration file and we are 
opening that file in nano editor using nano editor and here in this file we have you can see this is the proxy change.conf file version 4.0 and this uses these uh, proxies here and uh, and this is the option below identifies how proxy list is treated only one option should be uncommented at time so it says that the out of these out of these dynamic chain and we have a strict chain so these are i mean uh, these are something which i'm i'm just uh, i'm going to explain in slide so, and yes this is the difference between these different chain so a strict chain means users request for a server must go through a defined sequence of chains so this is one server proxy server second proxy server third proxy server so in a strict chain our request will first move to this one and then to this one and then to this one so this will go in strictly in this sequence and if one of the uh, server fails then we won't be able to communicate with this our communication will be lost but now the second one maybe i remove this one and second one is a dynamic chain when this dynamic chain again our request will go like in this sequence then like this but now if one of the server fails then it the communication will not be lost but the next available proxy server will be tried to get connected with the server okay. so that is dynamic chain and last is a random chain and the random chain is that user request for a server goes through defined sequence but in any order so it can go in any order it doesn't have to obey the sequence like one two three no it can go to one three and then this one so this now here it says that we have we have to select only one so we are going to select dynamic chain here and we are going to so just i'm going to uncomment it so after removing this hash sign it means we are going to uncomment it and this will be executed and now this option we are going to comment it out so this will not be executed and so we have selected only one as per instructions and in addition to that we have to go here down and here we have to uh, uncheck this proxy dns request as well because uh, we are the purpose of using this proxy chains is to hide our identity and this proxy dns request can help maybe them to find us out so we are going to just hide our proxies as well and uh, our, our proxy information as well so this we made and then we said that one and what else we have to change here i think that's it we have to just make changes here and then we have the important field here at the end where we have to give the information about uh, about the um, proxy chains which we'll be using so that should be at the end um, I'm scrolling down and we will see the proxy list format you see this is the proxy list we have to give here at the end and how we can give so they have also given the examples that this is how you have to set up this proxy list here format type IP port so value separated by tab or blank only numeric IPv4 addresses are valid and this is how we have to give so HTTP in SOX, SOX4, they are some of the proxy um, which we will be using and in proxy list we have this SOX4 so there's a big difference between HTTP and SOX4 so SOX4 is maybe enhanced better version of but the, more or less they provide the same function for us but of course there is a difference and then in uh, here in this proxy list we have to add proxy you can see you can add proxies here meanwhile defaults set to tor so now this is the tor even with this only with this line this will work but maybe we can add few more um, ip address free proxy ip addresses here and for that we have to google because we don't know which proxy ip addresses we have so maybe here in google we can write here the free proxy uh, server IP maybe then you can see it shows a free proxy list and here we have different IP addresses here and the port number so we need IP as well as port number so I'm going to copy this IP address here and going here and here I'm going to add the second line here 
and hopefully yes so this is the ip address and this i'll be using with maybe socks 5 and then here i'm going to use tab key for separation and here also i'm going to use maybe tab key and this is tab to tab key and then we also have to give port number what was the port that is this 26147 so i'm going to copy it i'm going to paste it here so now we have the port number as well here now this way we can add more proxy ip addresses here okay so it means this one request goes from there and then there is how many proxy we can use so there is some field here that is shows that proxy i think length or something but we have i mean here a field where we can we can i mean configure it so at the moment just for uh for this maybe demonstration maybe we can add one more here so i'm going to add maybe this one uh, copy and then here socks 5 then tab key give ip address and then go here use this port number and after tab key we are going to paste port number here we are done with this and now we can save this file and so in the nano editor this is the beauty of this editor is that you can get help from here if you want to do anything so at the moment we want to write out this so for this i'm going to press ctrl o and asking that you want to save this file with the same name we say yes and then ctrl x to get out of that now we are here at back we made the required changes in the configuration file and after that we are ready to use this proxy chains and for that we have to use this command that is proxy chains proxy chains and then we have to use some um, browser so we are using firefox and after firefox we can maybe write google.com and press maybe we maybe i and maybe you can see what what you what ip address you have at the moment so you can just write what is my ip address it will show you my ip address it means your ip address i'm not going to display my ip address here so i'm going to close it but for you you should you you should see that what is your ip address now and one more thing which we are going to do is to start the tour services so that in case if any of the proxy any i mean any ip address is not working then tour service will still be working so for this we are going to say that sudo and then service as the r v i c e service then tour and we start this tour services so it will take time and now it should has started the tour services but we can verify that whether tour services has been started or not so we have a command that we'll be using that it will show us the status of tour service and we press enter so now you can see it shows that this tour service uh, is active and then maybe we can use this uh, uh, the proxy chain commands to launch firefox and in that firefox we are trying to launch this google.com but with different ip address so now after use after the use of this proxy chain our request will be sent using proxy chains so at the destination our ip address will not be shown our ip address will be hidden so i'm going to press enter and it will launch firefox browser for us and in this firefox box we can see google.com uh, so now our request may take some time because now we have added some proxy ip addresses a chain of proxies so it might be trying different proxies in between the uh, our computer in between our computer and the google server but the, yeah we have to wait but benefit will be that our id will not be shown our ip address will not be shown at the destination and this also depends of course on my uh, internet connection and, but we should see google at the end yes so now this has been loaded 
and you can see here actually as soon as we have loaded google you can see this is language is a bit different i think this is german language let's stay in google.com and uh, here i think we have here if you click on english sorry so this will be converted into english that will be that will be helpful so that was okay dutch so it means that was german so now maybe we can use for again what is my ip uh, address i hope this time everything will be in english so that we can be we can read it sorry for that and yes now you can see everything is in english just taking some time because we are using proxy chains and one chain is forwarding to maybe other but it will come and we can see now that this is your actually this is mexico and this ip address is different but i'm not in mexico okay so now here this is done and this is how we can set proxy chains to hide our identity and sometimes actually as an and for example uh, for different reasons and i mean there can be any reasons but this is how we actually set proxy chains in kali linux machine uh, okay thank you thank you very much for your time and hope to see you in some future videos